pleasure to speak to you all today. The title of my speech is My Toastmasters Tribe. And this speech was inspired late last year when I was asked to write a blog for Worthing Speakers Club. And I thought, what am I going to write about? And there's this very cliched social media sort of click or sayings that go about and it's all about finding my tribe and as a 30 something who is sort of stuck in between that snapchat tiktok teenage generation i didn't quite grow up with facebook we almost had myspace when i was a teenager sometimes i don't really feel cool enough to be part of a tribe and then I thought about it and I thought, do you know what, I have a tribe and it's Toastmasters International. Now, how would I describe this tribe? Well, at work, recently, one of my own team members referred to Toastmasters as that cult you're a part of. And I thought, hey, we're not a cult. And I went and Googled the definition of a cult and I went and Googled the definition of a tribe. And what I feel in my heart is that a cult is about worshipping a leader and serving that leader or that religious belief. Whereas a tribe is about people who serve a community and we serve each other. And yes, we have leaders, but those leaders, the good ones, are there to serve the community. And that is one big part of Toastmasters International, giving in service to each other as members. And that can be anything from... When Lucy joined the club and I became her mentor and I helped her understand all the weird and wonderful ways of Toastmasters through to Lucy helping me with my not so great grammar. So what I want to talk about is my experience with Toastmasters and how I got involved. I want to describe to you my first few meetings and what my thought process was right through to what my experience is now and describe to you how my thoughts and feelings have changed. Now, the first time I visited an official Toastmasters meeting, I actually had a little bit of a scope of what Toastmasters was about. I'd known some Toastmasters before. I'd asked them to work with me at university to help me with speaking. So I had a vague idea. But the first time I showed up at a Toastmasters meeting, it was in, it was a quite a rainy and dull British evening. I think it was November. I had just done a huge 12 hour shift at work. I was quite exhausted. I didn't have a car. So I kind of limped along with all my bags to the meeting. And I showed up and I think about 10 people were already there and they were all over the age of 50. So I thought, oh, <laughs> is there gonna be a wider scope or is this club mainly people who are you know, a generation beyond me? And then, different people started walking in. And for a while, I think I was one of the youngest people in the club, but within half an hour of the meeting, I was laughing in my seat. I was really enjoying the speeches and the stories they had to tell. What I will never forget is seeing a member get up and give a speech and he was so charismatic and loud and in your face, but he had a disability. And this club had given him the confidence to get up there and show his true self, something that he said that he'd hidden from everyone because he felt disabled by his disability to really be him true, his true self. And this got me thinking, okay, so I can be my true self here. I don't have to show up and try and be this fantastic public speaker or pretend that's what my goal is, because frankly, that wasn't my goal. I am not a super nervous speaker, but what I wanted to achieve was being a little bit less, g'day mate, and a little bit more, good afternoon, sir. And I think I've somehow got there. Now from that blistery, windy evening, I came along to a few more meetings before I joined and I began to really thoroughly engage myself in the beautiful speeches that I heard and the amazing variety of members and their backgrounds and the diversity that the club brought. After a few months and when I joined, I started meeting Toastmasters from across West Sussex and beyond. And that was even more fantastic because where I grew up in Australia is quite what I would say white. And there's not a lot of diversity. And I was meeting amazing members from so many different heritages and who spoke different languages. And I was blown away by 
the way that they spoke, what they had to say and different stories that they had from their different backgrounds. And it really opened my eyes up. And I really fell in love with Britain because of Toastmasters. And what made me fall in love was I felt that there was more for me to see than what I'd seen in Australia. I felt that I'd had quite a sheltered life back in Australia. So my Toastmasters tribe has helped me really engage with people from so many different backgrounds. Fast forward to January this year when we launched this club and my tribe has expanded. I'm so excited to have members of Sussex online speakers who are from the US, but also have different backgrounds. So we've got a member from the US that has Japanese heritage and we've got members who or guests that have come and joined us who have different heritages from all over Africa to the Middle East. And that's just so exciting to me. And I really hope that our club can become a real mixing pot of different cultures and people who have grown up in the UK, but now live in France or studied somewhere really exotic as well. Because the more that you see in life and the more that you immerse yourself in different cultures or just even try and get a little bit of an understanding of what a different culture has to give, the more you challenge your own perceptions and you challenge who you are, what your beliefs are and what your understanding is of the world as a whole. So as a Toastmaster and as part of this tribe, I am really empowered that we all have in common this want to service each other as members to give to each other and that is in sharing our beliefs, our culture, our heritage. But what we all have in common is that we all want to improve and that might be on being a champion public speaker. It might be just on overcoming nerves. It might be on getting your point across in that next business meeting. It might be having the confidence to tell someone you love them for the first time. But whatever it is, we're all here to improve and that's what our tribe has in common. So I welcome you all to my Toastmasters tribe. Thank you very much. Thank you, Amy. That was 